Okay, so I want people to understand that I am taking this seriously and that some of you will not. So, my girl really likes this present she got me. And she thought it was going to be very handy and helpful. And the next door neighbor is a utilities man, and he has asked to borrow it. Favoring it over his sawzall. I mean that, and I am not being sarcastic. I legitimately mean that. So, moving forward with the understanding that I know someone is going to laugh their ass off. Just understand that I am actually being serious and that this is not clout or cringe or anything else like that. And if you disagree, that's fine. But I'm going to give a review on a mini handheld chainsaw. That's right, not just any mini handheld chainsaw, a supposedly cheap, supposedly foreign looking mini handheld chainsaw, but a rather good one nonetheless. So let's take a look at it. I'll explain why I like it. And I'll try my best to contain myself while I know that when my girl does see this, she's going to freak out and be smiling. She bought me this. She loves it. And if you ask me, I do too. That is not because she bought it for me. That's because everything that I've needed it for, it's done the deed. I will argue that if you need a full-size chainsaw, go get a full-size chainsaw. If you have more width room to work in, but want to make a thinner cut, like half as thick a cut, Go get you a sawzall. And if you're going to use it for like cutting pipe for plumbing, you got to go get a sawzall and that special blade with all the little, looks like rocks on it. If you're going to cut through metal, you need a sawzall, not this. This is specifically for wood based situations. Maybe plastic, if you really want to abuse it, you don't give a crap and it's just handy to you. But this is, <clears throat> and I feel like I'm doing an advertisement, and I really have no clue how else to get this up, up, across. R-L-S-O-O -O. says, make work easier and faster. I, I don't know that it makes it much faster, but it definitely does make it easier. And this is their lithium ion battery powered chainsaw as you can see I have been using it it's kind of dirty not sure if all the particulates can be seen on this camera but I do want to portray that I have been using it you can see all of that is wood dust all over this poor machine where I've neglected to clean it and it goes right back to not being seeable again. Okay. Well, anyway. So the features that it has is it includes a press and lock button so that you can press the button in and then press this lever right here. Well, uh, maybe I've uh, misunderstood that. It's just a safety lock. Uh, I was thinking it was a completely different you know, cruise control button. Never used that. Uh, really never used that. The stickers on this thing have held in good. I just expected the stickers to fall off. Um, I should have read them, <laughs> actually. It has the brake stop function up here. Yeah, for how chainsaws work. It didn't, in fact, come with two of uh, the strangest batteries that I've ever seen. More on them in just a second, but it does work, it does run. There's that 
is it comes with a light like a drill and you can see when I'm applying pressure to the trigger but it's not allowing me because of that safety function and normally I have my finger up here anyway because I'm, I'm, I'm used to, to drilling a drill like a gun so I have my extra hand up here and it's probably just always been in the way so it is variable speed it does have safety button it does have kind of a kickback guard and it is very lightweight and portable I mean if I was if I was to be chopping at zombies that could be quite dangerous um, I don't think it would go through someone's arm in a swing like a samurai sword but if you were if you had nothing better and you just wanted to be a sick twisted son of a bitch this would be something that you could you know tie to the end of your gun um because i don't want to be that close to the zombie if i can add another three feet to 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 make the distance a little bit further I, I will it does in fact come with two of these batteries and they are the strangest thing i've ever seen because they they're shaped like every other battery on the market pretty much but they don't charge that way they have this internal plug charger that is probably not proprietary matter of fact I could probably find one of these for old laptops and things and just plug it right in I said probably don't sue me if you do it and it explodes or something um, <clears throat> it plugs directly into the inside you cannot use it while it's charging of course most of them you can't use while they're charging and if it starts to die with you a lot it's because the battery has died there is no battery meter on this thing which is fine because if it's dead it's dead and I'm vastly aware of it but the charger charges fairly quickly and it has an indicator light on it right here you can't see it but it's there it's a little plastic slit and uh, when it lights up it's either charging or charged red and green um, those are fairly proprietary on this and then for the purpose that it serves so there's no lights on here anywhere but you do have the one LED and then you have the actual chain and I could take my finger off in a heartbeat but I'm not going to I'm gonna be be safe about it this does not turn off the thing um, a lot of kickback guards uh, if they kick back all the way they cut the thing off this does not, probably because you're most likely to be working with small tree branches. But that said, this does its job beautifully. It keeps your hands off the top if you were going to press on it or something. It's a little something there. It is plastic, so I wouldn't beat the crap out of it in determination. Um, but you, you can um, get away with you know, being a little rougher with it than some people would want to. Uh, so it does um it does have a guard here that you take off and you can tighten and unscrew the uh take the battery off <clears throat> you can remove the battery first always and it came with a pair of gloves and then it came with a small amount of tools to use on it that I have misplaced. <coughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. I have misplaced the tools for the screwdriver. I mean, for the... But it doesn't matter because I have tools. So we're going to find something to uh, open up this real quick. Let's see what size it is the tool that was with it would have been the correct size automatically um, I've put it down and away and I just currently do not remember where down and away is okay so this comes off with one single nut that is a 10 millimeter okay then you have an adjustable screwdriver uh, bolt up here it's not a screw, it's a bolt, but it has a screwdriver, Phillips head, head 
on the oh <laughs> and I shook it too much and it came off so um, don't shake it too much and don't make it come off okay so I'm gonna put the guard back on again let's see hmm. I'm sure it goes on there. So, okay, there we go. So, how it goes, in case you're one of those people that just can't figure things out like I am, um, this big bolt rides in the middle, and this little piece is sitting on the screw, so it is exactly like its counterparts in uh, the chainsaw business. What you're going to do is you're going to put it on the blade first. Make sure it's facing the right way because if it's going the wrong way it won't cut. I think we've all done that one time or another. Uh, people that have worked these for logging and firewood and such. I know we have. Um, let's see here. Just write it down like that. Okay. So I want to put the cover back on it while I have everything together. Yes, it is sitting loose and dangling. That is fine. I'm gonna apply a little extra pressure on that. Let's just Clearly this is the first time I've done this, and I don't mean to do it all off screen, but uh, you just can't record with one hand and do this. This is something that when you do it, you'll know what I mean. If you've ever worked on a full size uh, chainsaw, you probably already know exactly what I mean and think to yourself, yeah, you can't, you can't be recording and do that, you know, just do, do that. And you'll wait to see if I've horribly fucked it up when it doesn't run. But no, it's, it's going to be fine. Okay. So I'm going to put the nut on there. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the slack on the chain up on the bar, like so. Making sure it's in the slit everywhere. I'm going to use a screwdriver to tighten it. So righty tighty would make it more slack. So lefty loosey should make it tighter, actually. Nope. Does not seem to be doing that. Okay, righty tighty actually does make it tighter. Um, actually, yes, I guess that does make sense. I, I just kind of casually assumed it was a, uh, left-handed thread, but it's not. This is, seems to be an American thread. It seems to be getting tighter. It doesn't seem to be staying very tight, but it got tighter. It's on there. Keeping in mind that everything is plastic. I don't want to force it too much. It's not for doing giant logging jobs. I tighten this exterior bolt down. I have it just barely tight, which is where you would want it anyway. And, and not any tighter because it's one, it's made of plastic. Um, even though the bar is metal, 
this is made of plastic and it doesn't seem to have a place to put oil so being that it's electric uh, someone has forgotten that you do have to add bar and chain oil to a chainsaw even if it's electric it uses oil um, and that's to protect the blade protect the chain protect the bar protect the gears and it helps keep everything lubricated and that that's just something you're supposed to do the designers of this understood the idea of a chainsaw but they have actually not used a big chainsaw um, so they got away with it they made a really good design that if I run my hand across it I know that the blades are in fact pulling at me that's how I know that the blades in the right direction because it's you know, pulling in that direction and it's uh, working good as new so you have the functionality of taking the blade off and you have the functionality of tightening tightening the bar adjusting the bar the blade tension and all of that and at the end of the day you take the take the uh, battery off of it goes right back into this little kit here let's see fits just like this two batteries charger and the mini chainsaw with the batteries fitting slightly loose and of course the whole thing closes up it has two plastic red latches on the outside I am I am inclined I am sorry to my girlfriend to express that this is a very cheap box and that this is a cheap tool um with the way money is nowadays money doesn't go very far it was a lot of money it was about 60 something dollars but that 60 something dollars compared to any other tool on the market right now is really really cheap and uh, I've, I've cut a few limbs with it to start a barbecue um I, I am that terrible kind of person that i just needed some dry wood to add a smoke flavor to some things so I added some regular dried chunks of wood with this into my smoker to just add that burnt smoky flavor uh, nothing too special literally not even sure what kind of wood it was but it, it put the smoke flavor in it um, you can laugh at that if you want to I'm not not the best cook I just I knew I needed a smoky to the flavor of the thing that I was cooking um, this has been very very nice uh, gift for what it's worth it has done everything that I've asked it to do and it has done everything that my next-door neighbor has asked it to do and keeping in mind he's a building manager I guess building manager lot manager not sure what the correct uh, term would be there but he is the one looking over looking after these trailers keeping them in this quality probably not the best example but you know it's 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 a building it's a house when it rains I'm dry feeling lucky actually so could be worse and this tool has made all of that could be worse much better um, I don't know if RLS OO is the brand or if it's the model for this could not tell you where it was gotten could not tell you who sells it it is not an advertisement it's not a plug I'm not getting a kickback I literally have no clue who sells this thing because it was a gift to me um, it did originally come with a small manual with the information in it um, I did the same thing that most men do when they see socks on Christmas morning. Just, um, well, teenagers. I actually really needed socks for Christmas. I, uh, I threw out the manual. I should not have thrown out the manual because I may need to, uh, 
call them up and get a bar or two from them in the future. But when I say throughout the manual, I literally have a big drawer that the manuals just go in. And it's like they're just gone. If I ever do try to find it, I, it won't be in there. But I put it in there. And I know I put it in there. So that's that's the important thing. That said, if uh, I look in there and I do find it, well then all right. Um, but that, that concludes this. This is a $60 to $70 gift gifted to me by my wonderful girlfriend. And it is, in fact, a miniature electric drill battery powered chainsaw. Um, plastic, lightweight, light duty, but rather powerful, surprisingly dangerous, uh, with a nice added safety feature or two, and uh, very thoughtful in design if you're not looking to do a lot of work or heavy work. I, I give it a 4 out of 5. You know, I don't usually give anything a 5 out of 5. I almost never give anything a 5 out of 5 till recently. This gets a 4 out of 5. Keeping in mind that it is what it is. Um, you know, if I take this flashlight and I try to stop an intruder from getting in my house by beating him with this, 